Another crime involving a child. Instead, this time, that child is the suspect. Stockton police chased down a driver who refused to stop, only to find out he was just 13 years old. A 13-year-old boy in Stockton, now facing charges for evading arrest, hit and run, and illegal weapons. He's part of the system before he could finish school. So we asked John Norman, the head of a Stockton mentor group for at-risk students, is it too late for change? No. Honestly, that 13-year-old, provided he gets the mentorship and the exposure and opportunity, that ment that 13-year-old can be a story that's really going to help and change more lives. He runs a mentorship program for high school students called Raising Youth Resilience. He checks on them at home. He goes with them to court. He's making sure they show up to class and don't get suspended. These students, when they're on this wrong track, they didn't decide to be on that track. They were born into it. They live in it. So it's all they know. John says it takes someone who cares about what you go home to. For him, it's never too late. A man who grew up around violence himself, lending a hand and some hope to those caught up in it right now. Hello? Hey, hey, it's Lavelle. So you at the gate? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let me try this again. Oh. I'm gonna let them know Victoria's gonna be on the way here too. RIR is first and foremost raising youth resilience. Um, it's a mentoring program designed for students um, that are at risk. And what we generalize at risk is suspension, um, truancy, and poor academic performance. And the goal for us is to continue to support the student. Malik has completely turned around. He was, he went from, uh, when I tell you F's, he went from F's to now he's a B plus student, B plus. And I mean, that is a major jump. What I like about the mentoring program, and I'm just being specific, if all of the uh, workers are like you, Lavelle, I mean, you had a baby and you still checked on this kid. <laughs> And I'm like, go, enjoy your son. You know, he'll be okay for a little bit. But um, that, that's a big deal because when a person can, especially a big life event like your first kid coming into the world and you're still thinking about another child, you know, that's, that says a lot about a program who, if, if all of the workers are like that, then definitely, yeah, to where, you know, checking on him, when you should be there with your wife and your newborn, but that, that, that's, that's special. What is RIR? So the most simple response to that is going to be it's an acronym for Raising Youth Resilience. But to unpack that, it's really um, raising, meaning, you know, our, our kids, they need to be raised with the mindset, the understanding of resilience, that every kid, every student, every person has resilience in them. I believe youth have a lot more than... Um, our adults would as it's, I want to say, kind of like a defense mechanism that they have with all the different things going on around them, the changes, transitions, they have to be resilient. You know, you think about birth, it, that's a resilient type of <laughs> experience in itself. So um, raising youth resilience is saying, okay, with this, these youth, our youth, for that matter, we want to raise resilience within them so that they can get to a point of reaching the highest potential, or as I like to say, self-actualization. Um, I like to take that from Charles Maslow. He has this hierarchy of needs. So basically you have your, your basic needs and it goes all the way up to self-actualization and the more basic is gonna be like security, um, and then love and belonging and self-esteem. And so when you have all your needs met, you are able to be at a point or, or move or thrive to a point of self-actualization. And self-actualization, I like to use that example like that MJ effect where, you know, uh, Michael Jordan, he would go to the bench, you know, in the fourth quarter, get watered up, get rest, see what's going on, you know, just regroup. And then around two, three minutes marks into that fourth quarter, he's coming off and really just takes over the game. And so in that sense, that's self-actualization, you know, um, really thriving in a sense of kind of I know my purpose, I know my calling and I have my support system rooted. And so I'm now able to be my best, my highest potential, or the best version of me.
RYR um, helps um, families, helps students, support them with any resources that they need. Um, it's goal-oriented, um, it's college-based, um, and we try to intrinsically motivate each student and come up with an individualized plan to help them get to where they need to go. Your calling is what you're made for, work is what you pay for. So for me as a servant leader, um, I love this this calling, this purpose I have, which is serving students, serving parents, serving the community, serving the school sites. Um, the why as far as with the importance with the need is because we have a real problem on our hands as far as just nationally in California, in Stockton and all surrounding cities with just the areas of suspension, truancy and park den performance. Of course, with suspension and truancy, it leads to park den performance, but your suspensions and truancies are areas that actually cost revenue as well. And it also has puts our youth at a greater risk because if they're not in school, then they may, nine times out of 10, they're out somewhere unsupervised. You've, have, you've did a lot for Josh. You know, you guys have went above and beyond to help him with his education. And I've noticed a big difference with his motivation and doing homework. And he's like, I don't have to prompt him. He does it now by himself. And you guys, it, it's been a really positive experience working with you guys with him. Uh, they've just been um, helping with my homework, uh, just raising my motivation. Just talk to me like, like not like any teacher would, you know? Just helping out. So Kramer, man, he was, I remember before COVID, he was always walking around, not doing what he's supposed to do, tell him to go to class. He's ditching, running, running, running around the campus and stuff. I remember I caught him at one point doing stuff he had no business doing. And um, finally was able to kind of talk to him, motivate him like, yo, let's get to class, boom, boom, boom. Of course, you know, one year out the other at one, you know, some t point in time where I seen him again outside the class and I was like, all right. So he's going, and I was like, he's going to get it eventually. So when COVID hit, Chavez had got a caseload of students that needed to get support either for laptops, hotspot, whatever. And Josh, he was on there and I was like, cool. Well, I know who this is. Let me go ahead and go talk, make contact and see kind of where he's at. So went to his, his spot, spoke with him, um, and from there, it was like like mid-August, late August, from there all the way up to this point, which is now, what, almost May, you know, still supporting, still talking to him, still encouraging him, still helping him try to get it, stay engaged, and, you know, it's been an uphill battle, but a good battle at that because I see change, I see progress in him and more motivation to do what's right. Of course, any teenager, you're gonna get set in your own ways, which is okay, it's just about redirecting. And I think RYR has done a good job with redirecting and he's done it, and Josh has done a tremendous job making sure he met us halfway with making the necessary changes. So, yeah, he's gonna be a star. Wow, it has supported me in a lot of ways. Um, me getting pregnant young at 16, I I assumed that I wasn't gonna graduate high school with good grades or not even graduate at all. But Albert has been a good help to me. He helped me graduate not only with good grades, but with a 4.0 and I got a principal list. One of my experiences with working with RYR was working with the students in general, um, helping them out, helping them achieve their goals and dreams in life. Uh, me growing up, uh, I was very fortunate to have parents together, working together, working family, but working with RYI, seeing the other side to that, and it gives me an opportunity to work with them and help them, you know, provide the resources, um, being here from day one until, who knows, so that they get older, but always having a consistency and promising future and working with them. Albert has helped me a lot because like I was like down here. Yeah. And when he came when he stepped into our life and he stepped in and started helping and helping us out, he helped us out a lot. He's a, he was always there for us. He was always on point, always trying to get us to do extra, you know, always telling us, Hey, can you do this in this amount of time? I can bring you it. He was always willing to help out, go the extra mile. He'll always come to us, he wouldn't make us come over here to the school, he would take us our work, you know, 
he would help us out because he knew how difficult it was with a child. And yeah, he's the reason I got a 3.5, yeah, 3.5 GPA. Yeah. Thank and him a not lot. only that, but even after, like, after graduating, he's still helping me like find schools. He's helping me with driving classes because I'm gonna need that in order to go to any school that I want to. So he's still helping us out a lot. Uh, it has supported me by pushing me to further my education, to get better grades, uh, fix my attendance. So far, I'm fixing my grades pretty well, and my um, attendance has been pretty good. So, pretty happy about that. Also, it's been helping me on a emotional level because I've been having some like family issues, and they've been helping me get through it. You in your element, you know. Don't get nervous, man. Don't don't drop the clippers, will. man. <laughs> I probably will. Yeah, don't drop the clippers on me. Nah. Um, let me keep the mask going on. Nobody tripping. I'm in school. <laughs> But now, nah, um, the tools that the students will leave with are tools that will, one, give them everything that they never had. Um, tools that will help them to survive in a very crazy time, crazy world that we live in. These tools will get them to point A to point B. When they feel as if they are lost, don't know where to go, they will regroup or reflect on the tools that we share with them that will help them get back on track and operate in a way that will help them to be successful um, in today's world. It helped me a lot, you know, it got me back on track, on my feet. Really when, by the beginning of school year, I was doing really bad until, you know, they came on, helped me, got, got me back on my feet, you know, class, you know, going good, getting my grades up, you know, just trying to graduate, that's it. I would say it's been very supportive um, with my schedule being so busy, I feel like it's, it's come in hand because she has another source to go to, um, maybe she's more comfortable with versus me, um, to ask for help. Um, so to me, it's been very resourceful, helpful, um, and I wish we would have knew about it sooner. So it wouldn't have been her senior year <laughs> with her just starting, so, but definitely been helpful. Our importance is kind of meeting the students where they are and finding out their needs. And so we can try to help them and, and, and find the needs, help meet the needs, help go get the needs and bring it to the students and parents. But our job basically is to support the students and we can't have too much support for our students. But I think during this time of COVID, what we've learned now is there's a lot more work that's needed within the student parent relationship household or just in general with navigating education. Um, there's a lot of gaps, voids, and um, I like to call it kind of just um, liaison work that can be done to ensure that the students can be as successful as possible. So our importance comes in with fulfilling that void, um, making sure that there's direct communication between whoever needs to be at that table of support. Oh, it's been great. I actually feel more academic. Like, I was able to sort my academics more. Being in the program, I got to be able to focus on more outside of academics programs to put on my college portfolio. So it was a great opportunity. Um, and for me, it was just overall, I felt like we had um, a great support system. Someone that was on the same team as us, basically committed to keeping her on track and making sure she reached all her academic goals. It was great. It's like with John, we um, we gained the extra family member, someone who was like, their, his vision was the same as mine, which is just giving her all the support and resources she needs to meet all her academic goals. So it's been a really great experience, you know, even with COVID too, and just being able to have these meetings through Zoom and everything. So, yeah. RYR has been a great program for Edison. Um, I mean, we've been trying to get a lot of these additional supports from these community resources, and so far they've been above and beyond, actually, with the home visits, um, giving these kids mentors, uh, following up with the kids that we've had a hard time getting in contact with. Um, it's been a great addition to the Edison team, for sure. Um, and we're already seeing results with a lot of the kids following up, checking in with us after they meet with our, our uh, mentors. 
Um, so, so far it's been a great program and we just continue to um, hope that we can build off of what we had going closing out this year and then starting up with next year. So it's a great addition and I'm looking forward to getting the kids back on campus and then us all working as a team together. So yeah. I'm excited for that. When we have come in contact with a lot of our students, we've come in contact with families. We first see, we first see students who don't know what they want. We see students who don't know what their calling is. They don't even feel motivated some of the time. And when we come in and we, we speak with the students, we speak with the families and we let them understand kind of what they never knew um, and under, help them to understand their skills and give them the tools to get to those um, skills or build on those skills, they start understanding what we're doing and why we're doing it. Um, mentoring is something that we all need in our lives. I need a mentor, um, the whole team needs a mentor, and we know the importance and the severity of a mentor when it comes to these students. Um, and we just want to build. We just want to build these kids up. We want to give them skills. We want to. We want to share things with them that they never knew, like financial literacy, um, how to buy homes, how to get into college, how to maintain grades, how to have time management, um, how to be a successful individual when you go out into careers um, and trades and things that are going to um, level you up. How to get a bank account. How to set up a Roth IRA and things like that to be financially stable saving, investing, and budgeting. Um, these are all things that we want to share with the students, give them. We want to give them resources from other people who got, in, who got into fields that they want to get into um, that they never knew was attainable. Um, and as a dreamer myself, I want these kids to know that dreaming is okay. Um, working hard is okay. Being motivated is okay. Being successful is okay because a lot of times we're scared to be successful. We fear success. We don't even know what success looks like. And we get so stuck in complacency and procrastination to where we lose sight of what success is and we're so accustomed to failing. Um, we, don't even, we don't even know what the other side looks like. And I feel like as mentors, we come in, we set the tone and let them know it's okay to not know. But we wanna make sure that you're not in the unknowing for too much longer so that you know what you need to do to get to the next step or the next level in your life. So that's what Raising Youth Resilience is all about. That's what mentoring is all about. And we hope to see you on the other side of success. Keep real once around you every single day, convo.